to the Mayo Rib Curl Pro Portugal. It's been one of the most dramatic days of the season, and it's just the early afternoon. And round three continues. Wade Carmichael with Tomas Hermes in an all-rookie clash. Remember the world title race getting very interesting. Felipe Toledo out on a close decision, losing to Joan Duru. Opening the door just a little bit more for Gabriel Medina to possibly clinch here in Peniche for a second world title. So a couple of rookies left standing, battling for a spot in round four, oh. late takeoff, straight down to the bottom. Tomas Hermes trying to pull off a crazy takeoff. Albert, easier said than done, let me tell you. Carmichael taking the next wave. Nice clean top turn wrap for Wade Carmichael. Power hack incomplete in transition. Losing that finish will keep this heat wide open. With 24 minutes on the clock, barrels on hand. And that's just going to attract every surfer on tour to try to get really barreled in this heat. Carmichael playing the game well. First turn looked clean. Yeah, it looked beautiful. Uh, a tricky section as well with all that white water on the face of the wave. And Wade Carmichael coming unstuck on maneuver number two. Beautiful maneuver right here. Nice clean snap. And then poked the nose and went over the handlebars. So unfortunate there for Wade, but kind of just wanted to get that wave under his belt and uh, settle the nerves. He's probably really excited by what he's been watching over the last couple of hours, Joe. You got to feel sorry for, for, for guys that get that, but he's he bounced back to knee. Came back with a vengeance and uh, world number seven at the moment, so he's doing everything right. Couple of big finals, taking out Jordy Smith two times this season. Wade on a roll, power hack. Right in the pocket, huge wrapping turn, throwing some water. The powerful Australian will sit on the roof of a big float and stomp the finish. Three turn combination for Wade. Now he's got his second scoring ride, his best so far with 15.45 to go. Boards look good, don't they? Clean. Clean lines like, and uh, like a lot too. of spray. <laughs> I knew you, we knew where you were going with that. Beautiful first maneuver there from Wade and another one right there, just bringing that board all the way back around. So show them the judges variety and then a tricky finish. Beautiful tr like projection across the lip and then a free fall drop. So this is definitely going to be the best wave of the heat. Jams it up in the pocket there, a little bit of a free fall drop. Creating some drama, showing some variety. And then this maneuver right here, Joe, watch the projection he gets. Wham! Just flies across the lip and free falls out of the sky. So, definitely the best wave of the heat. As we look at live action, Tomas Hermes getting a carve into a cool little inside wall that's really moving quickly. Quick little whip off the lip, and he'll get off the top of that section and lay down at the end. I felt like he got out of that one with control. Go, Tomas Hermes is going to have some work to do. Fun looking wave though. Yeah, beautiful wave. I thought he was really going to light this inside section up. Kind of set up work all the way through here. Committed to it. Kind of got up there a bit early and I think that's what kind of threw him off a bit. Maybe needed uh, a little bit more of a delay. Would have created a bit more of uh, excitement towards the end of the wave. This is all set up work here from Tomas. Connects nice and early and sort of free fell down and that's where he came uh, sort of down on his heels, Joe, and that's uh, um, probably an incomplete ride. And when you look at what Kanoa did, you don't need to be catching a lot of waves. Just make sure you're making the ones you catch. Late oh, takeoff, the like jack that. straight down to the <laughs> bottom for Carmichael. On a break free of round three, not a whole lot of points on the Jeep leaderboard. Remember, Hairbase outside the requalification cut. This is what happened at the start. Yeah, big snap there from Tomas. So one maneuver wave. It's not going to be the 591, so back to the drawing board for Thomas. Coming close to a major win as a rookie. Two times this season. Here's Thomas again, just hunting. This round has been tough for him this season. And he knows there's a little bit of room to move. When you're 24th and seeing guys just ahead of you getting knocked down, this is a huge opportunity. Carmichael leading the rookie of the year race. He'll use priority early. Still has a 2.6 to improve on. Power hack off the top. Sets that rail for a full roundhouse cutback. Puts himself in position to float it shut. So three turn combo for a six. In that ballpark. Nice commitment to that first maneuver. Bit of a free fall drop and then through the tail out. Got that little bit of release on the fins. And then finish strong. I love the finish on this wave. 
total commitment there, no holding back whatsoever. Different turns to finish, and now a big oh. chunky section for Hermes to attack. Oh my gosh. To try to save his spot in this heat. Let everything at that end section. Unfortunately, he couldn't hang on. Still paddling back out with 25 seconds to go. Got to attack that last section if you want the big scores. Nice little check turn there for Tomas. Now it starts to unload on the sandbank and total commitment there from the young Brazilian. Didn't get the projection maybe that he was looking for off that lip. Came down right with it and unfortunately for him, that's all she wrote. The way Carmichael moves through to the next round and keeps that rookie of the year dream alive. Amazing run for Wade Carmichael dealing with round four maybe later on today. Up next, Owen Wright takes on Patrick Godowskis right after this.